Let me show you guys how we can use logarithmic differentiation to find the derivative for y is equal to the product of x squared plus 2 squared and x squared plus 4 to the fourth power. In fact, for this one, it's not so bad to just use the product rule and also the power rule and also the chain rule. Um, but you can imagine if we have more factors or more complicated stuff, then the following way is much better. And that is, we first take natural log on both sides. And the reason that we want to do that is because we will see the left hand side is just natural log of y. And the beauty is that on the right hand side, we can use the log properties to break this apart. So first, let's take a look at this right here as a product. So we know we can just bring this as ln of x squared plus 2 squared. So this is the first part. And we will add ln of this, which is x squared plus 4 raised to the fourth power. Yeah, ln of a product, it's the sum of these two lns. And before we continue, we can actually do more. We can actually bring the power to the front. Don't minus 1 though, because again, this is just the log properties. So here we see we have ln of y, and that's equal to 2 times ln of x squared plus 2. And then we add 4, ln of x squared plus 4. So this is like the good old things that we did back in algebra, right? When we have log, well, any kind of log, in this case we have ln, natural log. We can expand it as much as possible like this. And we will look at this and then just take the derivative. And this right here is technically implicit differentiation because the y is no longer isolated. But it's okay, we have done that before already. So let's go ahead and do that. So first, we differentiate L and y, and that will give us 1 over y, right? 1 over whatever this is. And then we multiply by the derivative of y because y is a function of x. So this is the dy dx part, okay? And then for this part, you see, when we have sum, we can just do the derivative for the first, and then we add it with the derivative of the second. That's all. Here we have two, right? So this is just the two right here. And let me just put it down like this. The constant two, just keep it. And then we multiply by the derivative of ln of that. And that's going to give us one over the inside, which is x squared plus two. But don't forget the chain rule. We multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is going to give us 2x. And then we continue. Like that's it. Then we continue. We add 4 times the derivative of this, which is just going to be, again, 1 over whatever this is. And then use the chain rule here. We multiply by 2x. So that's pretty much the idea. And in the end, though, what we want to do is isolate the dy dx. And we can do so by multiplying the entire equation by y. Right? So let me see. I will multiply this by y, and I also multiply the whole thing right here by y. So that this and that cancel, and then we will just get the dy dx. And that will be equal to the y. Well, if you look back to the original equation, we can put that down for the y. So we will, we will have parentheses x squared plus 2 squared x to the fourth power, x to the second power plus 4 to the fourth power. This right here is for the y. And then we'll just need to write this down inside of uh, another parentheses. So for this part, we just work that out, we get 4x on the top over that for the bottom, which is x squared plus 2. And then for this, 4 times 2x, which is 8x. And then we just add 8x over that, which is x squared plus 4. And that's it. You can multiply this in and simplify this a little bit more, but there's no need to. This is definitely okay. And this is the answer in the back of the book.